I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control. Are you having a little trouble seeing me? Let me shed some light on the situation. I'm here in my utility closet, and you might be thinking to yourself, what the heck is Mark doing in his utility closet? Well, what I'm doing in here is showing you applications, and this is going to be a, a new ongoing series of videos over the course of time. There's not going to be a schedule for it, but when there's an idea that strikes me about an application for something, for a device, I'm going to do a video about it. So this is one that's practical and personal to me. So this one is about the Z-Wave light bulb. I'm here in my utility closet. You'll notice my furnace is here, my hot water heater behind me. I've got water lines here. My water meter is down here to the left and under my feet, I'm actually kind of straddling the thing, is my sump pump. All of those things, oh, the gas line, all of those things are things that I need to get past to get to this pull chain to turn on the light in my utility closet. Drove me crazy for years. So I took the new Z-Wave light bulb and I put a door and window sensor on the door. So when I open the door, this light turns on. It's just that simple. Problem solved. It's an application that made things better for me. Let me show you how I did it. So before we get started, the two devices that we're going to need for this is a door and window sensor affixed to the door jam and the LED Z-Wave enabled light bulb. We start by clicking on add scene. Then we select that we're going to use a device as a trigger. And we click on select device. So we'll select our Z-Wave bulb and we're going to select whenever the door and window sensor is opened, whether it is armed or disarmed. So anytime the door is opened, that will act as a trigger for us. Then we click on validate. Then we click on next step. What do you want to have happen? Click on the arrow and we'll select our Z-Wave bulb and then click next. Then select the state that you want the bulb to be turned on in. In this case, we want it to be turned on at 100%. Now here we have an option. There's two different ways that we can have the light bulb turn off. We can use a delayed action and wait for a specific amount of time and then click validate. What device do we want to have do something again? We click on the Z-Wave bulb and click next. And then we put it in the state that we want it to go into, which in this case would be off and then click validate. By doing it this way, it will turn off 15 minutes after it is turned on. And then we want to wrap up by designating what modes we want the scene to run in. When we've selected them, we click done. Do we want to have any notifications? Names here have been erased to protect the innocent and click done and then name the scene and assign it to a room and click finish. If you want the light to turn off when the door is closed, that's easy. You just use another scene set up exactly the same way, except when selecting your trigger, you want to select whenever door and window sensor is closed, whether it is armed or disarmed. Otherwise, you set up the scene the exact same way, except you don't need to do the step for the delayed action. And it's just that simple. And by the way, I like to use these 3M strips rather than use adhesive. So when I need to take them down because I'm moving or something or need to change the batteries, I'm not going to leave any marks or anything like that. Now, if you'd like to see more videos like this, email me, training at getvira.com. If you'd like to know what's going on at Vera before anyone else, like us on Facebook. And if you like my videos, and I really hope that you do, subscribe to us on YouTube so that you can get notifications anytime I post a new video. And remember at Vera, it's not about what we can do. It's about what you no longer have to do.